design decisions it can be characterized by design decisions that each hides from others that each module hides from other modules so in this case module should be specified and designed so here modules it should be specified and designed in a way that the information present in one module say suppose these are different modules m1 m2 and m3 so these modules should be designed in such a way that the information present in one module is inaccessible to other modules if when these modules uh, doesn't need that information say suppose modules m2 and m3 uh, doesn't require information which is present in module 1 then in that case information present in module 1 is inaccessible to module 2 so if they are not using information then what's the use of uh, providing access right it's not necessary to provide access to the information present in module 1 as it's of no use to other modules m2 and m3 so in that way you need to design a module so the benefits which are provided by this information hiding are so it is useful when modifications when modifications are required during testing or during software maintenance so here information provided information id provides greater benefits when the modifications are performed during testing or during software maintenance and here most data and procedural details so most of the data and procedural details they are hidden from other parts of software so most of the data and procedural details in module they are hidden from they are hidden from other parts of software so that so if some uh, if some of the data and procedural details they are hidden from other parts of the software then in that case errors occur during modification so errors occur during modification will less likely propagate to other parts within the software or other locations within the software so what is the first thing information hiding so it hides information from all others and here the modules they are specified and designed in such a way that the information present in one module are inaccessible to other modules and the main advantage of this information hiding is the modifications so it it provides uh, benefits during modifications done in either the testing phase or in software maintenance phase so as the data and procedural details say suppose these are different modules right so here say suppose some errors occur during modifications in module n1 so here the data and procedural details are hidden from other parts of software so the data and information which is present in module 1 they are hidden from other parts or they are not in they are not visible to other modules in the project so in that case even though if you make any modifications 
Say suppose some errors occurred in module 1. Then if you make modifications to that M1, as this module M2 is not making use of any information from module M1, so the errors or modifications which we are doing in module 1, it doesn't show any impact on module 2. So when this module 2 will use the information? When it is visible, right? So if nothing is visible, then in that case it can't make use of any information. So even though if there is error in one part of M1, as it is not used in M2, this error will not show any negative impact on other modules. So that is the advantage of information hiding. Of course, if the, the information which is present in M1, if it is required, then that access will be given to M2. But if it is not required, then in that case, no need to provide any access to other modules. So this, these are some important points about information hiding.